I just got back from the opening of the Portland space in Bridgeport Village uh, down in Tigard, Tigard, Oregon. It's basically Portland, but hung out with the Central um, Oregon Rivian Club. I think it's also Portland Rivian Club also. They, you know, put together a nice little event. Then we had a nice fun little event over the bridge. Uh, had some good German food at the very end. Um, but this video, we're going to talk about um, advanced highway assist and hands-free driving that we have in my Gen 2. Kind of cool. It, it's useful in some places, especially whenever you're driving for a long, long time. So let's go ahead and check it out. In one video, I'm going to be describing it, and then I'm going to impose um, a hyperlapse that I did going from Ridgefield all the way up to Port, um, Olympia, um, doing it hands-free for 90 miles. Just check it out. It's new tech, new software, uh, maybe not as good as full self-driving from Tesla yet, but it's a great start and I'm excited for it in the future. There was one time I did have to put my hand on because someone didn't know how to merge and she was kind of lost whenever I passed her. So I did adjust for safety uh, to get out of her way. And so in the future, hopefully maybe that's a change. But here we go. Let's check this out. All right, so we're on the way down to uh, Portland right now to see the new Rivian Service Center. So I found that this would be the perfect time to show you guys uh, the Advanced Highway Assist uh, hands-free. So let's just go ahead and turn on Adaptive Cruise Control. Now, it's going to be at 70 miles per hour. And Adaptive Cruise Control basically just means that uh, it will adjust for the vehicles in front of you. As long as you have it at 70 miles per hour, if that vehicle in front of you slows down, your vehicle will also slow down. Now let's go ahead and put on highway assist. So we got highway assist on right now. It will start turning for you and um, keep you in the lane, keep you at speed, just like um, adaptive cruise control. Now highway assist with the hands free, if you notice there's a symbol right there saying, hey, take your hands off the wheel. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what this does. I don't need to do anything extra besides take my hand off the wheel. And so my only job now is to keep my eyes forward. Up here, uh, there is some cameras looking in my eyes. Even though I have sunglasses on right now, it still sees my eyes. So I'm assuming it's like infrared or something that's just going through my sunglasses. But it turns, it does everything that you need. Uh, pretty much just hands-free now they're in the city I, I really don't need that I don't need that but you know on the highways like this because we're driving 106 miles that's weird what just happened there why did we just all of a sudden start braking well I'm glad that we caught that um, okay, I actually never had that happen before. That's why I'm kind of, like, confused by it. Now, I will say, I think my GPS... Let me actually see. Continue on I-5 South for 79 miles. So right now, my GPS is even saying I'm 2 miles per hour slow. So, I know we kind of like have a little conniption fit whenever you see people speeding, and I understand that. I completely understand that. I'm chilling in the right-hand lane, but now we're going to just bump it up to 74, just, just in case. Because if I was at 68, at 70, maybe I might be at 70, at 71, 72, you know. But let's just keep playing it safe. Like, okay, now it's saying I'm at 72. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and do a lane change real quick take a left hand turn it's going to notice that there's a car next to me we're going to go do a lane change and it's going to automatically do it and then just get me right back up to speed kind of you know it's very useful you don't have to touch it again or anything like that it will scan your sides to make sure that you're safe um, it'll turn on your turn signal which you're able to see on the dashboard and then it will move over whenever you whenever the vehicle believes that it's safe to do so. 
we just passed that semi truck gonna give it a little bit longer actually let's go ahead and see if it'll actually let me get over now seeing that there's no truck there no vehicle next to us perfect we were able to get over no problem turn signal turns off we get right back onto the road again well it looks like I'm gonna be that guy and just move right back over again so uh, let's go ahead and do that again and it does it pretty seamlessly besides that little situation that we just had um, so you are able you are able to look to your left look through your mirrors do some conversational turning of your head stuff like that but if it catches you like looking down at your phone or something like that I wonder if it's gonna see it says keep eyes on road right there so it will stop you from actually not paying attention to the road now in the future they're going to have it to where it's eyes off which is kind of nice so you know we'll be able to uh, do things actually let's let's drop it because I think we just went down to 60 yeah through here through the the outlet malls and everything you know a lot of cops and stuff over here but even so safety speaking it drops down to a two laner so we want to obey the speed limit well, anyways, this was high, advanced highway assist um, for the Rivian. While it may not be what you're seeing in full um, driving mode or whatever it's called, FSD on Tesla, I think this is a very good base point and that um, it has nothing but room to grow. And I'm very happy with it, especially on long trips like this. Now, I did try to do it all the way home, all the way to Highway 16 from I-5, basically from Portland, Ridgefield to Gig Harbor, but in Olympia, it actually told me to hold on to my wheel because there's a sharp corner coming up, curve coming up, and through Olympia, it is typically S-curves, and so maybe full um, self-driving just didn't feel comfortable with doing that, but I'm excited to see what kind of updates that they bring in the future, uh, makes make it a little bit better. Um, one thing that I did find, though, doing it for that long, you kind of get tired. Because you're not doing anything, and so, I don't know. I was listening to music. You guys see me just randomly jamming out through the mirror, but you also catch my yawns. So, once I got into Olympia, I just drove myself home, and everything was fine. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that drive that often it's it's not that fun but i will say having full um <clears throat> having advanced highway assist is kind of nice especially like during um work or whatnot to where i just need you know a little bit of time to have my hands off or whatnot well you guys have a great day um i'm gonna try to find a better way to mount my gopro so we can get better angles of it and produce this video in the future i don't know where i'll go but i'll find a place to go for you guys